Time for the Buy Sports Report. The Phoenix Coyote sale finally went through over the weekend. Dum, 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 dum. So now they have five more years to make hockey work in Phoenix. Five more years. They only had 17 years to do it. And it still doesn't work, but now they have five more years. <laughs> It'll be that 22nd year. That'll be the year that hockey works in Phoenix. The No Fun League, NFL, is at it again, cracking down on more celebrations. Dum, 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 dum. This includes the sack dance, the home run swing, the incredible Hulk, the spiking the ball, spinning the ball, throwing or shoving the ball, pointing, pointing the ball, pointing at the ball, verbal taunting, military salute, standing over an opponent, and dancing. So the only celebration left is the ever popular standing completely still. That's the only one they can do. I said, hey, NFL. Come on, man. Come on, man. Let's have some fun. Let's put some fun into the No Fun League. Eagles receiver Riley Cooper returned to practice today. Uh-oh. It's the first time since he took off four days ago since dropping the racial slur on video at a Kenny Chesney concert. And that video, believe it or not, did not go over well with teammates. Kids, don't use racial slurs. And while you're at it, don't go to country music shows, okay? Nothing good can happen at those unless it's like a Faith Hill or a Carrie Underwood show. Just bring earplugs and uh, and binoculars, too, if you go see Faith Hill or Carrie Underwood. You know, Riley Cooper's being shunned so bad, he might as well be the kicker. It's true. I tweeted that. That's from the Twitter of Zelmer. A statue in Brooklyn of the legendary Jackie Robinson was defaced with racial slurs. Uh-oh. Meaning uh, we know where Riley Cooper was those four days after being sent home. I mean, he was in Brooklyn. You know what, people? Stop being racist. Dum, 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 dum. It's 2013, man. It sucked 100 years ago, and it's not cool now. Even more so. Stop being racist. Heisman Trophy winner Johnny Manziel reportedly was paid 7500 bucks for signing autographs. Dum, 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 dum. This in addition that uh, Johnny Football was paid a five-figure fee for signing merch back in January, and there's a third report, too. And the NCAA will not like that. They're not fans of uh, their players making any sort of money. You're not allowed to profit in the NCAA unless you are the NCAA. Come on, man! Come on, man. I don't think so. And such a girl, Amandy. <laughs> That's her name. Hey, what, what, what should we call you? Amanda or Amandy? Oh, why not both? Let's combine the two. Uh, she compares herself to Farrah Fawcett. Dum, 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 dum. You know, like the hottest actress in the 70s? I kind of see it. You know, Farrah Fawcett had hair. This girl has hair. Farrah Fawcett was female. <laughs> There's a chance this girl could be female, too. I don't know. It's possible. Hey, guy who picks the Sunshine Girl. Come on, man. Yeah.